Engineers say a driver's oversized load hit the I-75 beam, causing it to collapse. The Tennessee Highway Patrol says anything over 8 feet 6 inches is considered oversized and needs a permit. Those loads are also required to be weighed. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell joins us now from a weigh station on I-75. Tanisha, tell us about this. Yes, Cindy, we have watched truck after truck go through this way station. It's near the Tunnel Hill exit. I mean, you can see them kind of filing by by me. There's a two more coming up here to get weighed. Now, how this works is at this uh, station, uh, the trucks are weighed about a mile back. There's a scale in the road that basically determines whether the truck and the driver uh, needs to be needs to enter the way station. There's also an electronics uh, sign alongside the road that tells them uh, to, what to do as well. Now, some drivers even have a meter inside their truck that does this exact same thing. It just depends on the trucking company. Now, um, I spoke with a Shaw truck driver earlier about this process. He says there are consequences if a driver does not stop or obey by those signs and what um, and if they're supposed to go through the way station. If they see you go by, they will they will notify a trooper if there's not if they're they don't have a car available right there with them. A lot of times they they keep a car right there with them, but they will notify the troopers and, and have you pulled over, and then uh, then you'll get a ticket for not stopping at the scales. That's right. Now, on average, Jeff Oaks uh, with the Shaw Trucking Company, he says on average he is weighed, his truck is weighed about four to six times a day when he's out on the road. He says every time he goes through a weigh station, it costs him $11.50. Now, his, his company, of course, reimburses him for that cost, but every time he goes through, that's how much it costs. He says the gross uh, limit, weight limit for those trucks is 80,000 pounds. For now, live reporting from I-75, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tanisha. And tonight we're learning that the condition is improving for the person who was hurt during that bridge collapse. Yesterday we told you the driver was in critical condition at Erlanger. Now family members are not ready to release the name of the driver just yet. So once again, all we know is the condition of that driver is improving. We're glad to report that. Now we are in contact with the family and we'll update you as they are willing to give more information. And we're still unpacking all that happened with this bridge collapse. There's still a lot more to learn. And you can follow that by downloading the WRCB app.